few weeks ago, a student asked me about the difference between est-ce que and qu'est-ce que and how he can use them. Today, I'm going to clear up any confusion you might have between qu'est-ce que and est-ce que and also I'm going to teach you how to ask better questions in everyday spoken French. Bonjour, I'm Géraldine, your French teacher. Welcome to Comme une Française. Today, I'm going to help you speak everyday modern French with confidence. This is what you will be able to do after watching this lesson. If you're a beginner, you won't be confused when you read or hear qu'est-ce que and est-ce que. If you're intermediate, focus on how to ask a yes-no question in a new way. And if you're advanced, you will be able to make sentences with qu'est-ce que and qui est-ce qui. Yes. First, let's start with qu'est-ce que. Qu'est-ce que, if we go through it properly, is que est ce. What is that, literally? Que est ce, what is that? And it's a longer way to ask what. Qu'est-ce que c'est, is what is it. Qu'est-ce que c'est, is what is it. And that's a very textbooky French way to ask a question because in everyday spoken French we wouldn't ask that. We would ask for what is it. We would ask c'est quoi or c'est quoi ça. What is it or what is that. C'est quoi or c'est quoi ça. And you see it's a more simple and it's more straightforward and that's how we speak. So qu'est-ce que c'est is perfect. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? But then in everyday spoken French, we would say c'est quoi or c'est quoi ça? Also, you can ask about something more specific. For example, qu'est-ce que tu fais ce soir? Qu'est-ce que tu fais ce soir? What are you going to do tonight? Qu'est-ce que tu fais ce soir? And in everyday spoken French, what do you think we could ask? We would ask, tu fais quoi ce soir? Tu fais quoi ce soir? That's more straightforward and that's the way I would say it. Qu'est-ce que is also a structure where we can use qui? Qui for who in French. For example, qui est? Who is it? Qui est? We can also say c'est qui in everyday spoken French. If we want to go a little bit beyond that, we can also use qui est qui? Who did something? Qui est-ce qui? For example, qui est-ce qui a appelé? Qui est-ce qui a appelé? Who called? Qui est-ce qui a appelé? Who called? And in everyday spoken French, we would just say qui a appelé? Qui a appelé? Literally, who called? Qui a appelé? You see, textbook French and French in general is full of options to say things in a very complicated way when we have a more straightforward way. But lots of students love learning this kind of things and this is what makes French so charming. In everyday spoken French, we have a funny way to ask qui a appelé that mixes qui est-ce qui a appelé and qui a appelé. This is not something I want you to use, but you might hear it and it's pretty fun is c'est qui qui a appelé. So it's a mix between both. C'est qui qui a appelé. So when you say it in the everyday spoken way, we would say c'est qui qui a appelé. So you have qui qui in the middle and it sounds funny. So it sounds bad, it's weird, but it's how lots of people would say it and lots of children would say it as well. It's not vulgar, it's very colloquial. Try it or maybe try to hear it, which is even better. And it's a very funny thing to say. C'est qui qui a appelé for who called? Okay, I know it's a difficult lesson, but stick with me and you will see a few improvements. Maybe if you're advanced, you will be able to embrace it. But I, at least you can touch these kind of sentences to have a view of what's coming ahead if you're a beginner or an intermediate student. Now let's talk about est-ce que. Est-ce que is a way to announce that you're asking a yes-no question. Est-ce que. It means literally, is it that? 
is it that? For example, we could use it to say, est-ce que tu es prêt? Are you ready? Est-ce que tu es prêt? Are you ready? And this way you can also, you can only answer yes or no, I'm ready or I'm not ready. Est-ce que tu es prêt? Are you ready? So you can use ask to ask questions, but again, we have simpler ways to ask questions. The first one is l'inversion, which is a formal way to ask questions. So instead of est-ce que tu es prêt, if you want to keep this lovely formal French, you can ask es-tu prêt? Are you ready? Es-tu prêt? You have the inversion of the subject and the um, verb. Es-tu prêt? If you want to be more colloquial, more authentic, you use just a simple affirmative sentence and you add a question mark at the end. So, est-ce que tu es prêt becomes tu es prêt. That's very spoken French. And you put your voice up at the end. Tu es prêt? Tu es prêt? To ask a question in a very simple way. So, you see here we saw three ways. Est-ce que? You do the inversion or you just add a question mark at the end. Your turn now. Try to transform these sentences into a question and try different ways for each one. It's really up to you to pick the one that you want. Tu es là. You are here. Tu es là. On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. And Michel danse la salsa. Michel danse la salsa. So take your time. Try to write them down on your notebook. Try different ways to ask a question. I'm going to give you several options as an answer so that you can see lots of ideas for you to answer this uh, exercise. Ready? Okay, so for tu es là, you are here. Tu es là, you can ask lots of questions using that. You can say tu es là, very simple, just add a question mark at the end. You can ask Est-ce que tu es là? Est-ce que tu es là? Are you here? Est-ce que tu es là? You can do the inversion. Es-tu là? Es-tu là? You can even go a little bit beyond just for the exercise. Qui est-ce qui est là? Is someone here? Who is here? Qui est-ce qui est là? And qui est là? Qui est là? Again, if you didn't think about the last ones, I just wanted to give you more options to think about uh, questions. Good? The second option was On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. We're baking cakes for tonight. On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. The simplest way is to add the question mark at the end. On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. And your voice goes up. On fait des gâteaux pour ce soir. And then, on fait quoi pour ce soir? What are we doing for tonight? On fait quoi pour ce soir? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait pour ce soir? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait pour ce soir? So you see here again, I wanted to show you different structure. There are other answers, but here I wanted to open your mind to these structures. And the last one, Michel danse la salsa. Michel danse la salsa. Michel danse la salsa. Again, simplest way is to add the question mark at the end. Michel danse la salsa? Michel danse quoi? What is Michel dancing? Qu'est-ce que Michel danse? Qu'est-ce que Michel danse? What is Michel dancing? Qui est-ce qui danse la salsa? Who is dancing salsa? Qui est-ce qui danse la salsa? Qui danse la salsa? Qui danse la salsa? So again, don't freak out if you didn't get all of them. That was not the point. I want to open your mind to seeing how you can use qu'est-ce que and est-ce que in everyday French. So let's recap what you learned today. First, you saw that qu'est-ce que means what. Qu'est-ce que is what. Qui est-ce qui is who. Qui est-ce qui is who. Est-ce que is a way to ask a yes-no question. And you also have ways to ask simpler questions in everyday spoken French. If you want to learn more about asking questions in French, check out this short playlist that I made for you. You will find more lessons on French grammar to help you ask 
questions in a good way in French. I will see you in the next lesson. À tout de suite.